Hello and welcome to another Hero Quest video. Today I'm going to be painting the Dread Warriors from the base game, or as I like to call them, the Chaos Warriors. That's how I still see them. There's four of these models in the base game, and I'm going to be trying my best, within reason, of course, to stick to. So looking at the card art, you can see that most of this model is metal armor. I'm going to be using broadsword silver. It's an army paint or speed paint, and it covers really well. There's four of these models, so this is going to take a few minutes to do. I will, of course, speed the footage up. You don't need to be particularly careful when you're painting this silver on, just try not to hit the cloak. The model also has some undergarments around his waist, try not to paint those. It's not the end of the world if you do, because you can go back over it again with the white paint later on. I actually had thought that these guys were the last bad guys in the base box until I noticed the Dread Sorcerer. So I'd forgot about that guy. So he will be the next miniature to be painted for Hero Quest. And then it's on to the character models. I'll be hopefully, I'll be painting one at a time, but I want to get them knocked out pretty quick because I want to start having games. Next colour up is going to be Citadel Colour Known Oil, which is a wash, and I'm going to apply it neat, that is straight from the pot, over the top of the armour. The idea is to, it will sink into the recesses on the armour plates and leave a nice shading, shadowy effect, with very little effort. Army Painter, make a wash called Strong Tone, you could just as easily use that. Um, I'm sure Vallejo and all the other manufacturers also make washes these days. Just use whatever you've got. I just happen to have some Nuln Oil. I've always liked the Citadel washes. They're good. You'll notice if you watch a lot of painting videos on YouTube that some people use washes very sparingly. They also use them very lightly, like they may as well not have bothered. I don't believe in that. I believe if you're going to wash a model, Wash it for a reason and use plenty of wash. You'll see this wash pulls around the feet of the miniature. That's no problem. It'll dry fine. Next colour up is going to be white. And I'm using Vallejo Game Colour Dead White. And I'm going to use it to touch up some of the areas that I didn't want to be hit with the metal colour or the wash. And that's the cloak and the loincloth around the waist. I'm now moving on to painting the cloak and I'm going to use a colour called Murder Scene from Army Painter Speed Paint. It's really nice colour, I think. It's very dark and I think it suits these models really well. You can tell me what you think at the end. You'll notice that I started out here by painting just the insides of the cloak. I was going to paint the outsides slaughter red and make them brighter but in the end I decided just to do the entire cloak with this murder scene and then I can go in with one of the other paints and add a few highlights. That's the way I chose to do it. It's entirely up to you how you choose to paint it. You'll see that this colour is a very dark purpley red and it, it matches the card art quite well, I think. I 
This is a very easy job. Just take your time, especially around the waist where you have the cloth around the waist. Just take your time and you can't really make a mistake here. The next colour up is going to be Grim Black from the Army Painter Speed Paints range and I'm going to use it to paint the hands which I assume are wearing like black leather and I'm going to use it to paint the backs of the shields which I have left white deliberately because I just didn't want everything to be silver so I left the backs of the shields white to signify that they're made of maybe a they have a, a black or a dark wood followed by a silver or metal front. It was really just to add another bit of colour, even though it's black. Next colour up is Brownish Decay. Again, an Army Painter Speed Paint, and I'm going to use it to paint the shaft of the mace that the warriors are carrying. And again, this is just to add a bit of colour to an otherwise very metal armoured model. You'll see in the card art that it's not very obvious what colour these should be. You could have painted them silver, but I just added, I wanted to add another colour to the model. The next colour up is going to be Slaughter Red, and I'm going to mix in Speed Paint Medium. 50-50 and I'm going to use this as like a highlight wash over the cloak, areas of the cloak. You'll see exactly what I do with it here. Just trying to hit the raised areas of the cloak, both front and back, and also the raised areas of the loincloth around the waist. Again, you can't really go wrong here. You can't really make a mistake. If you manage to hit the armour, just quickly wipe it off with a clean, wet brush. Or if you fail to wipe it off and you notice it at a later time, just go over it again with some white followed by some silver. Job done. Next colour up is Poppy Red and I'm going to use it to paint the eyes. This is really just to make the eyes shine a bit, stand out a little bit. So the Chaos Warrior is going to get his eyes painted red and then he has two eyes on his chest which I'm going to do red and he has two eyes on his shield that I'm going to do red. Just make sure you're using a fine detail brush for this and it shouldn't be a problem. The paint should flow quite nicely into the white areas. Next up is another Citadel wash, and this one's Agrax Earthshade, and it's a very brown wash, so I'm going to use it to rustify some of the armour. You'll notice on the card art that these guys are quite rusty, so I'm just adding it here and there on the shield, and around the knee areas, and maybe a wee splodge on the chest. It adds a little bit of rust effect, it's a quick and easy way of achieving it, without going overboard. And now I'm moving on to the bases, and I'm going to use Adeptus Battle Grey, which is an old foundation paint from Games Workshop. Use whatever colour you've been using. Um, if you haven't, if you're new to this, if this is your first video that you've watched of mine, and you're painting your Hero Quest figures, pick a colour for the bases, and just use it for all your bad guys. That may change for the character models, 
just to make them stand out a bit more on the tabletop. We shall see. But you don't need to rush out and buy a particular colour. Use what you've got. Now if you don't have any paints that's a different story. Pick a range that you like or you can copy the paints that I've been using and just go and buy them from your local favourite favorite game shop. Now after these models have had a good couple of hours to dry it's time to varnish them. Again I can't advocate it enough that I think you should varnish your hero quest models. Even with Warhammer models you don't need to varnish them as much. These guys are going to take a beating because they're in and out of plastic trays and the game can be played again by young kids who are well renowned for being kind of ham-fisted with miniatures so it's entirely up to you but my stuff gets varnished. This matte varnish is good stuff I can highly recommend it. It dries very matte um, and it does protect the models to a certain degree. Obviously it won't protect them from everything. And that's it. Dread Warriors done. Chaos Warriors. Um, you can let me know in the comments what you think. Did I make a complete pig's ear of them or do they look okay? I think they look great personally. And I know my gaming group will like uh, or won't like to see these guys coming because they're actually quite scary in the game. But anyhow, I hope this has been of some use to you. Please, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the wee bell icon and click the thumbs up. Or if you think I'm a pillock, click the thumbs down. I don't really mind as long as you interact with me somehow. And if you want to leave me a comment, I will certainly read it and I will reply to it. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.